This is the N2 Software Engineers. Take a look at this, Devin. This is the first AI software engineer. And if you've been living under a rock for the past week, you might have not heard about this, but it has been making waves all over the internet. And I wanted to showcase what this is in case you have not seen it and what this actually means for the future of developers since a lot of you follow me and watch my coding tutorials as well as people aspiring to learn code what does this mean well first thing is let's just take a look at the video whether you've seen it or not this is quite insane and let's just sit back and take a look hey i'm scott from cognition ai and today i'm really excited to introduce you to devin the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. So take a look at this. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds a whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Bro, that's insane. I'm just, that's crazy already. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. It literally debugged a problem. That's crazy. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. So here, let's do a little quick pause and just see what it made. And pretty much it got some data and we see some bar graphs and obviously it's not the prettiest but he didn't ask it to make it super modern but this is already a start and let me actually show you all the this is possible today because stats of the advances it has. that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning it's a really hard problem go take a look at this they actually have a uh picture down here so let me actually scroll down and check that out they have it right here and look at this real world software engineering performance compared to the prior current ai chatbots aka you have chat gpt gpt4 and cloud 2 at least right now so look at this completely destroys these current ai softwares out here that are the quite i'd say the most popular in today's world at least right now for the beginning of the year but again cloud 3 actually has been released as well which i have messed around with a little bit and comparing that with also google gemini's advanced option those are the two newer ones i'm not sure exactly when this was uh taken in terms of the dates but the only one i see right now is gpt4 which has been out a little bit longer than the previous ones and also we have llama here too currently right now just from the surface level he essentially the creator made a ai to replace his own job <laughs> so pretty much its goal at least right now i'm seeing is to replace developers from doing coding tasks that otherwise would have taken them probably maybe even longer or who knows how advanced this could get now obviously this video showcased it a very simple example of what it could do but they also do have content on their twitter and you can also actually mention them and then give you um, access i believe to uh, test it out but there are other people who have already played around with this and this guy has over like a 27 minute video literally going through it and messing around doing a bunch of different use cases and you can see here he's already blown away there's additional person down here as well and what he stated is that pretty much he says like site with 20 restaurants in brooklyn using a scoring algorithm it designed and two things that will become more valuable in a post devon wood or at least devon world would be imagination and api keys and you can see here there's a bunch more fun stuff that they have posted about this now Going back to Devin, you're probably wondering, what does this mean for software engineers? Well, I did make a video when ChatGPT, the original, I think it was either three or, pretty sure it was three or 3.5 when it first came out and everyone was like, oh, there's no way it's gonna replace coding. And at that time, that was like, what, maybe like less than a year ago or so, I was agreeing with it too, that the coding features on ChatGPT, even today, they're pretty, uh, I'd say, they're not that substantial in terms of being able to replace a developer but fast forward a year from now we are now in a part of the ai space where technology is significantly increasing so much faster than i think anybody would expect it 
And for example, take a look, we have here Claude 3. And these are the current benchmarks, and these are the three versions they have now. I can't even, Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus. And these are significantly more advanced than Claude 2, which you can see from this chart, it was basing off of Claude 2 being significantly better than all of these AI models, even GPT-4. And even Devin surpasses it completely. I wonder how good it would be compared to Claude 3. Now, maybe this might could be even higher, who knows? Again, they'd have to do another test. And then also Gemini Advance is not even on here, which is also Google's new updated version of their version of like a ChatGPT style AI. And basically you can see here, this is their latest and greatest model. And it just showcases the pricing, but it says with their 1.0 Ultra, most capable at the time. And if you played around with these, which I have done myself, pretty much it is pretty much like GPT-4, but at least when I'm uh, using it right now, I have the uh, advanced option here. It's unlimited too, versus GPT-4 has a cap and also Claude uh, 3 when I was testing it around, it had a uh, cap on terms of how many uh, uh, messages you could send in, switch you back without telling you. That's what GPT-4 sometimes would do is like pretty much when you finished, it would put you back on GPT-3 and sometimes you wouldn't know, but sometimes it tells you like, hey, you finish your credits but either way round this back over to devin this means one devin is significantly superior at particularly software engineering obviously gpt4 cloud 3 gemini you name it there overall can do a bunch of different things like uh typing in the best restaurants in the city basically it's like a google search plus you can write a bunch of scripts paragraphs essay check your homework etc which i haven't seen devin at least it doesn't seem that's the use case for this. But let's talk about the topic of replacing developers. Now, there is a speech, there's a guy, I forgot the name, where he tells uh, someone that pretty much in the next five years, which I think he posted, that was like last year, pretty much developers will be gone. Like they, there will be any use because AI is gonna pretty much take over. And even back then, everyone was like, there's no way. And for at least today, obviously high level, software engineers or pretty much something that is quite complex and you don't want to just give away to an ai that could literally crash your code and ruin your business overnight you probably wouldn't put devin on that but for just today this is again this is the breakthrough the start i guarantee you there's going to be a thousand new competitor startups that are going to try to make their own version of this so-called devin ai and maybe a few of them will make it out to the top similar to seeing gpt uh being the first one open ai and then Google comes out, now we have Claude, and they're pretty much neck and neck in terms of the progress in their advancement of their tech. So if Devin is the first one, I'm sure there's others out there that just haven't been mainstream or been promoted, but there are, I guarantee you there are companies out there right now working on something even similar or better that they might not have any released to the public yet, AKA it could be Chad or Troy or whatever the name, what do you call it? Devin 3.0, that could be even better than the current version of this. And this is just the beginning. This is 2024 at the time of this. So just imagine in three, four years, how advanced the code is. Imagine you can type in, create a, for example, let's focus on website front end since that's a lot of my content. They say, create a website and let's pick a business uh, theme. Let's pick, uh, I don't know, cruise ships and connect to the API, you can have all their rooms connected in there. You name it, you can see how fancy and complex website could be. And imagine an AI can do that in light seconds. Literally, you type it in, bam, boom, the code is just there. It just pops up. Just kind of like how you type it in on ChatGPT or like uh, Google. And then next thing you know it, at least the entry level developer, the point where a lot of people are currently learning code and trying to get into, that would almost pretty much be uh, be no demand for that anymore and then pretty much either senior or top level developers where it obviously you have to maintain check the code and make sure it's right maybe but again depends on how good this ai has become but as of today this is just the beginning so definitely what do you think do you think these ai softwares will be able to replace developers or will they pretty much not progress at the rate you think and it might be too early give me or do you think these are still not ready for the real world in terms of running multiple large businesses and then you think you still need to have developers for that but as of right now looking at the markets and looking at the trends on social media 
TikTok, Instagram. I've seen so many videos, particularly there's memes of, for example, computer science majors, and it pretty really much shows them not getting any work or demand for jobs because I guess the market is just not looking for the hype that it was just a couple years ago prior to the AI boom. And now it seems like the focus on coding in college and even just in general, the industry is changing drastically. Now, what does this mean for someone who is currently learning code? Well, the biggest thing I can say is you definitely will have to keep up with the trends and you also need to pivot because eventually AI is going to catch up. And if you are not focused on the right things, you could easily get replaced just like you see here with this beginner dev version. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Will AI replace developers or is it too early and we still need like five, 10 plus years for that? Either way is, again, this stuff is crazy and anything to make coding easier is a bonus, but that again has trade-offs. So do share your thoughts and like the video and subscribe for more.